Meteor Collections. What is it? They're how you store data in Meteor. They're essentially like a model. Meteor's documentation gives a really good explanation about all the nitty gritty bits. We can quickly read through the first paragraph. It really explains it well. Calling this function is analogous to declaring a model in a traditional ORM, Object Relational Mapper Centric Framework. It sets up a collection, a storage base for records or documents that can be used to store a particular type of information like users, posts, scores, to-do items, or whatever matters to your application. Each document is an eJSON object. It includes an underscore ID property whose value is unique in the collection, which Meteor will set when you first create a document. So they go on to give us an example about how you actually instantiate a collection. You essentially call Meteor Collection and you pass in the name of the collection you would like it to instantiate as. The function returns an object with methods to insert documents into the collection, to update their properties, or to remove them, and to find the documents in the collection that match arbitrary criteria, essentially a query. The way these methods work is compatible with the popular Mongo database API. The same database API works on both the client and server. And that's really cool. Just like how Meteor treats JavaScript the same between a client and server, it treats the data in a similar manner. Meteor really likes to give you one consistent environment, and that's awesome.